Hi guys, I am Josh Richardson and Malabosa and we have a final project about income, savings and consumption. But before that, what are those three certain words? Income refers to the money that a person or entity receives in exchange for their labor or products. While savings refers to the money that a person has left over after they subtract out their consumer spending from their disposable income over a given time period. And lastly, consumption means that the amount of something that people and other entities use. Well, from that context, what we're going to do is to compare and contrast my own family's income, savings, and consumption, and also our neighboring family's income, savings, and consumption. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, good day, ma'am. I am with my fresh and virgin mother. Si, ano ito? Ang sasot yung pangalan, ma'am? Ito, 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 pangalan. Sige. Ako din may stories, ma'am. Ikaw, yung mga pa-ilas yung kagaling nun. Sure. Like it. Ako din mga pa-ilas. Ikaw na lang. Ikaw na lang. Yes. Uy. Ang sakala, kaya mo siya pangalan sa mga pia. Good. So this is kind of the very beautiful si Mira Flor Patero Malabosa. Katong question is about niya sa income, consumption, savings. So atong first question is how much is your family's income? Ten thousand. How much you usually spend for your basic needs in a month? So, pila man yung mga malaan na gasto para sa mga uh, panginanlan sa usa ka buwan? 9,000 minsan mahulog ng 10,000 wala ang masyado. Okay, so... Okay, basta doon tayo ka. Hala! Parang sala. <laughs> Bakit kasalanan mo ko? Sige, kag pangayo. Hala! Cheese mm. means okay. What are those basic needs you usually buy? Ano sa mga mga panginala nato kaningaw paliton? Food, mm. transportation. Kada adlaw ka mga hiyo o pamilite para padong o iskwelahan baon. Mga necessities, mga hygiene, paligo pa bukam? <laughs> Shampoo, sabon. Mm. Mm. Too big, kuryente. Do you buy products that are not part of your basic needs? So, palit pa kayo mga produkto na dili parte sa inyo ang pag-inanlan like mga lupo, mga wands. Sometimes, di na. Kaya? Sa'yo palang, ubos na. Do you practice savings? Do you save from your income? Sobrang tipid na siya. So, yung mga amount. 100 to 500. Kaya ko na po ng 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 500. Makuha rin. Pag short na. Pag may extra. Ito ang consumo or consumption is mga 9,500. Kaya lang. So, ang toan ang ma-save is 100 to 500. How much is your savings in a month now? So, karong bula na, kung katong 100 to 500, bumi ka sa garan ma-save. Karong buwan na, pila man yung ma-save? Mayroon pa ba? Ang crop na ang pumunan dito na may savings pa ba? Mawa na ito, ato ang income is 10,000, ato ang consumption is 9,500, ato ang savings is 100 to 500 pesos. Mawa na ito, ato na, ato na pangunta na siya, kasi she is the head of the household. Wala man din si father. Asa si father? Asa si father? So, muna ito ang... Mga gani, parang kasi din sa magtipikag kurente, tubig. Muna. Mag-i-save. 
interview ada mangku ni kenal kes. Bagi tadi cukup mau. Mau kini nak. Oh. So. Kita nama ini. So, mabaksak juga ni nih. Walaupun aku kata sapa, so um that was um my interview with um Miss or Misses. <laughs> that was our income, consumption, and savings. Okay, so manamantag ka ng interview sa ako ang mother. Ano yung sa tong kinakusgang neighbor? Na usari bumbong. Usari bumbong. Yung neighbor na may bumbong tanan. Ang um, kani ang among mga question is parehara po ni, ni nanay na about income, savings, kaila ba yung motor? Ano sa tong ngalan, ma'am? Ah, uh, Lani. Lani may salot siya. Uh, <laughs> si Bahon. So, atong first question is, how much is your family's monthly income? So, kailangan ang income sa inyong pamilya? Kuan. Dibi, huwag ako trabaho. Ako ang ating uh, receiver ako. Aka, ang ginapadaan niya is nasa 30 na na. Thank you. Thank you. How much you usually spend for your basic needs? Kita mas. So, pila man imo ang malaan nagastos para sa inyo ang basic na panglalas sa kabuuan. Konsumo, masarap nga. Twenty pound kung ano kay dala na panan. Na yung mabilin mga buta na tungtem. Na yung mga sa high pond yari mga emergency tipako na. What are those basic needs you usually buy? So, mapila tong konsumo, tong pagkaon. Number one jud ang basic one sa pagkaon. Billings. Do you buy products that are not part of your basic? So, mukulit patong mga produkto na dili parties na yung mukhang basic na panginan na. Eh, dili man ako ang saver man ko. Di. Do you practice saving? Ginag may. Do you save from your income? So, ang income na gikan ni auntie na save? Oo, para na po nila. Para o, para po nila. Yan naman si mga anak. How much is your savings in a month now? So, karoon, pilang mo na itong na-save? Ano mo? Mga 5. Mga 5 to 10k. That's it. Kaya nang mura itong atong gigan sa amuang na kinukusgan neighbor si Ate Lani. So, mura iyahang ang iyahang kasi sa ilahang income, consumption, and savings. Mora to, dahan salamat. Thank you. Okay, so in comparison, my family's income is 10,000 pesos, while my neighbor has 30,000 pesos. In consumption, my family has 9,500 pesos, while my neighbor has 20,000 pesos. And in savings, my family only has 500 pesos, while my neighbor has 10,000 pesos. What's the difference? Well, to get the savings, we need to subtract our Y, which is income, and our C, which is consumption. If we subtract my family's income, which is 10,000 pesos, and my family's consumption, which is 9,500 pesos, we will get a total of 500 pesos, which is our monthly savings. In contrast to my neighbor, we also need to subtract our Y and C. Our neighbor's Y, which is income, is 30,000 pesos while their consumption is 20,000 pesos. To get the monthly savings of our neighbor, we need to subtract 30,000 pesos and 20,000 pesos, which equals to 10,000 pesos. Well, after done examining the income and saving statuses of my family in my neighbor, we can gain insights into the broader economic concepts of consumption saving and income distribution. These microeconomic aspects reflect the macroeconomic trends and dynamics that shape our society and its economic landscape. Based on the interview, my family's monthly income of 10,000 pesos demonstrate the concept of earned income which contributes to the overall national income. But by spending 9,500 pesos on basic needs such as food, transportation and bills, my family participates in the consumption aspect of the economy. This expenditure is crucial for the overall economic activity as consumer spending drives demand, stimulates production, and generate income for other businesses and individuals. Well, given my family's limited budget, refraining from purchasing 
non-essential items aligns with the principle of frugality and prudent financial management. This decision showcases the impact of constrained consumer spending on economic growth, as a reduction in discretionary spending may affect businesses operating in non-essential sectors. My family's ability to save 500 pesos per month reflect the concept of personal savings, which is crucial for economic stability and future investment. However, the relatively small amount of savings is indicative of the challenges faced by lower income households in building financial reserves. This highlights the issues of income inequality, where limited disposable income and high living expenses leave little room for significant savings accumulation. This disparity in savings capacity contributes to the wealth gaps within society, impacting the overall economic well-being and social mobility of individuals and families. Well, analyzing my neighbor's income and saving status further sheds light on income distribution and interdependent economic relationships. With an income of 30,000 pesos per month, mainly derived from her sister's financial support, my neighbor enjoys a, a comparatively higher level of disposable income. This surplus income allows them to allocate around 20,000 pesos for basic needs, contributing to increased consumer spending and driving economic activity. Their ability to save 10,000 pesos each month highlights the importance of financial planning and prudent decision making. By practicing saving, they contribute to the national savings rate, which is crucial for long-term economic growth, investment, and stability. Additionally, the relatively higher saving capacity indicates a more favorable income distribution scenario compared to my family, where a greater proportion of income can be allocated towards saving for future goals and emergencies. Overall, the income and saving statuses of my family and my neighboring family exemplify the complex interplay between individual economic decisions, income distribution, and macroeconomic indicators. Understanding these dynamics provides valuable insights into the broader socioeconomic landscape and underscore the needs for equitable income distribution, financial literacy, and policies that promote inclusive economic growth. This has been Josh Richardson and Malabosa, and thank you for listening.